Hi, and welcome to the Banker's View from Cyboss video series, looking at all the hot topics here in Toronto. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Hassan Khan, who's Group Head of Transaction Banking at Standard Bank. Hassan, thanks so much for joining us today. Can you tell me a little bit about the cash management and liquidity challenges that African corporates are facing today? Yeah, so we could talk about this in a number of ways, but let's pick a couple of things that we work with the clients for. The first thing is that of geographical diversity. So if you think about Africa, Africa is a, is a collation of 55, 56 markets in different stages of evolution. When you take an outside in view, you typically come in with a model that might work across all the countries, but that's usually almost always not the case. So the first thing that we do with the corporates in the discussions or the dialogue we have with them is to explain to them how each of the markets are different in their stages of evolution, their maturity, their legislation, and how they need to adapt their models to work for it. The second most commonly faced challenge recently is that about trapped cash, trapped liquidity. We haven't got enough U.S. dollars in some of the markets to help the clients uh, which are banking in there to, to allow for the repatriation, and we have to come up with models and solutions with the clients to, to allow for that. And the third one that I would put up there is that of actually reaching the client base. If you think about Africa as a continent, if you think about the levels of population that are not banked, traditional modes of banking don't allow for either the corporates or the banks to get to them. So this is all about financial inclusion, the models that we can think about, the digitization and how we can get uh, our corporates closer to their distribution base. Okay. Obviously, there's also a big fintech wave happening in Africa. How are corporates really engaging with that? Yeah, so this is a fascinating thing. The entire buying behavior is starting to get shaped by what the end user is experiencing in the digital disruption. So you think about yourself or, or I as a, as a retail client, we are the first ones to get exposed to the changes in the digital industry. We're the ones that see the apps. And then what we do is we then engage back into the banks, into the corporate setup to say, would like our buying behavior to shift exactly that way. And that's where the challenge comes in. When you look at the banks, the banks are, they have traditional models. They have systems that takes much longer to deploy. So their challenge is, how do they get the balance between reacting to a, almost a retail question, but at a wholesale bank level? And that's what's shaping it. Um, go back to the point around the lack of financial inclusion. That's driving the need for banks and for the disruptive technologies to come up with models that allows us to reach the low-end consumer. Um, take an example, in Uganda, we've got north of 60% of an unbanked population. You're never going to get to that with a traditional banking model. You're never really going to get to that if you're a corporate setup in a traditional way. So how do you think about different technologies that allows you to get access to that client base and very, very quickly. Okay. But how is Standard Bank really engaging with the fintech community? So I think we've realized very quickly, as have some of the other banks, that we're not competing with the fintechs. So the fintechs are, they're going to struggle for skill. Um, what the corporate clients are going to look for is balance sheet, skill, um, relationship. The fintechs specialize in a vertical. They specialize in a collection or a payment or a settlement vertical. So the fintechs need the banks as much as the banks need the, the, the fintechs. And we're starting to work with a number of these com companies across most of our markets to come up with solutions that just meet the client need. I think that's what the banks need to do. They need to rapidly evolve away from the thinking that we're competing with the fintechs. We're, we're, we're partnering. We have to partner because if we think about the client question that's coming at us, we have to think about it jointly with what technology is available to be able to respond to that need. Because the banks, again, back to that, the way we think about technology, the way we design it, we're never really going to be as fast, as agile, as adaptive as someone that's just doing that as a, as a, as a niche. And hence the need for us to use different parts, different pieces of technology that are available, string them together for the benefit of the client. Okay, maybe my last question yeah. is, what do you think the buzz on the floor at the conference this year is? So I think if you think about a couple of years ago, there was blockchain, cybersecurity, digitization, ecosystem, and that's still all very relevant. It's interesting to see that a lot many more banks are now consistently talking about these three to five themes. I sat in a fascinating session uh, which was run by the Boston Consulting Group, and it talked about something very close to 
to the piece of the business that I run, which is the relevance of transaction banking in the future, in amongst the disruption, in amongst the changing client needs. And it ended on a very, very interesting note, gives us something to think about, which is the relevance of transaction banking is as high, as relevant as it was a few years ago. And if anything, as a source of funding, data, client knowledge will become more relevant to all the banks. But it's about the choice we need to make on what kind of a transaction bank do we need to be. Do we want to be one that banks the ecosystem, which is a choice that we've made in Standard Bank? Do we want to be a vertical integrator? Do we want to just be a trusted advisor? So, extremely excited, uh, lots of activity on the floor, lots of great meetings, and look forward to the next Atlas. Excellent, thank you so much, Hassan. Thank you.